Hey guys, it's Maria Antoinette, and today... How perfect is that timing? I am going to be teaching you guys how to make a DIY bug repellent. Here are a few of the things you're gonna need for this tutorial. We need distilled water, a spray bottle, witch hazel, glycerin, one fourth measuring cup, a half a teaspoon, your essential oils, and a funnel because it just makes things easier. All right, let's talk about this tinted glass bottle. You can use whatever bottle you want. I recommend using something that's tinted because it keeps the sun out, which gives you the most out of your essential oils that we're gonna put in it. We're gonna put our funnel on there. We're gonna take our distilled water. We're gonna use a 1 4th cup, which is two ounces of liquid. Now we're going to take our witch hazel. You wanna use a natural witch hazel. We're gonna also do two ounces or a little bit less. I didn't fill it all the way up on the witch hazel. The benefits to using witch hazel are endless, but for this purpose, it's great for keeping sweat at bay. All right, for the next one, I'm going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of glycerin. And you're probably like, glycerin? That's so sticky. It's so this, it's so that. Yes, it is, but it's amazing for your skin. And even though it has sort of a thick consistency, it's also great for keeping sweat at bay and making sure that moisture stays into your skin because we're using essential oils and other things that we just wanna make sure your skin stays the healthiest. So we're gonna put that in, half a teaspoon. Now we're gonna take our essential oils. You can use one essential oil or you can use a collection or a combination of oils. Today I'm going to be using lavender, rosemary, and peppermint. Now, I like the way those smell together, but they each hold a special component into this bug repellent. You'll notice I didn't say mosquito repellent because each one of these things also fights against other insects. So, lavender is great. The fragrance of it smells amazing. It's calming to us, but the fragrance of it to mosquitoes is a natural repellent. So we're gonna put 15 drops of the lavender in. All right, for my second oil, I'm going to be using rosemary. I am kind of a essential oil snob, if you wanna say. I'm really a firm believer in using oils that are high quality. So, what does rosemary do? It keeps ants at bay as well as mosquitoes. So now we've covered mosquitoes as well as ants. I'm gonna put 15 drops of this in there as well. And let's get down to our last and final oil. I'm gonna be using peppermint. Peppermint, besides smelling refreshing and just familiar to us, it's great for keeping away deer ticks. So we're going to be using lavender, rosemary, and peppermint. And I'm also going to do 15 drops of the peppermint. And that, my friends, is the completion of our DIY bug repellent. Super simple, a lot of great benefits, and I mean, mosquitoes, ants, and deer ticks, I think you're covered on that next camping trip or even just hanging out in your backyard. All right, you'll notice that I made this in a small batch. This is about four ounces. This assures that I'm able to get through it before it loses its potency. It's very important to label all of your DIY products so that when someone who wasn't there when you made it comes along and use it, they'll know what's in there. I like using washi tape because it's adorable and it's easy for a non-reading child to identify what's in the product. So for this one, I use flowers because flowers bring insects and then my child will know bug spray. All right, how adorable is this, right? A little washi tape goes a long way. So is this something that you can see yourself making for your family? Comment down below some oil combinations that you might use. Also tag HGTV Handmade on social media so that we can see what you guys made and how your family is enjoying it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. How perfect is that? I am going to be teaching you guys how to make a mess. <laughs>